Well, the rebuild I've seen it all. <laughs> Welcome to India. I got crazy hair. We're in a rickshaw in India. <laughs> We're at the airport. Let's go. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be like with no okay. distractions. Girls are in one taxi, boys are in another taxi behind us. Jaya. Hopefully, he knows where we're going. That's not nice. <laughs> tired we had an all-night flight and then got here early in the morning and so we all just crashed for a few hours because we didn't know the Wi-Fi we didn't know where anything was we didn't really speak English he just showed us to the one bedroom upstairs and I like anyways once I woke up we tried to get the Wi-Fi Wally talked to the owner on the phone so a caretaker lives here there's a manager and there's an owner and that we could call him if we had any problems and was really nice and then we're like, okay, great. No mention of payment or anything. And then we went to find a SIM card because that's a whole nother issue in India. So you have to like have someone local, like the place you're staying or somewhere kind of vouch for you and you go to the store and then you go back and pick it up 24 hours later. It's like sketch. Hey, so we walked down the street and we are getting a SIM card and going to the grocery store. I just want to give you guys an idea of where we're at. I like this view right here, going down the road. So we went and arranged that, so we were supposed to pick it up yesterday, and um, I say supposed to because it didn't happen, and so um, we have a guy supposedly bringing us one right now. The guy at the phone place called the owner and talked to him, and then he handed me the phone, and he was like, nice to me, still didn't say anything about payment or anything, so we were just like, cool. So honestly, at this point, we didn't even think anything of it. We just figured we'd pay upon checkout because we've done that in a ton of places. And um, so we just figured that was the deal. So we weren't worried about it. No one said anything. So we were like, cool. Dance, this was going to be the expression we would see most throughout our time in India, usually within our personal bubble. Thank <laughs> you. 
see where this ends. Okay, show me Tay. Bible in Hindi. We found an awesome Christian family with beautiful, smart children. The last name. Say hello, beautiful mama. Abisha Johan. Johan. Surname. Johan. 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 Cho. Johan. I can't read it. I don't. I can't read Hindi. What? Uh uh uh. Oh, that was great. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> huh? What are you doing? Why are you so crazy? What do the fish? What do the fish? What do the fish? Amen. What are you doing? I'm filming it. <laughs> We're walking home in the rain. <laughs> what? A little wedding dance, you know what I'm saying? While well, the reboot I've seen it all. <laughs> Welcome to India! Okay, just in case, we were here for a few nights and we are leaving because the owner's insane. He's like seriously a jerk. So he said there's a regular shower with hot water. And there is hot water, you can turn it on. But it does only comes out of there. It does not come out of the so-called regular shower. Just which is fine, whatever. But just so you know. No, no, I want to no. use the bucket. Yeah, we use the bucket. Huh, that's right. Okay, don't do it right now. Okay. Um. So this is the main room. Okay, just a minute. Just a minute. I don't know what you can see in this light. My like, guy's a vampire. So we're all here in one room, even though we poked, looked the entire villa. So Makai has been sleeping on this couch, which is clearly too small for him. Um, there was, we did take the, Wally took the bed, what's it called? The footboard off the bed because it was not fully connected and nails were sticking out and we were worried someone was going to get hurt. Other than that, just, you know, it's fine. Like, the thing is, originally it was three-room villa, but that one was locked in it. And most of the newer listings say two-room villas. This guy has his listings on four or five different places. Um, and he has the same amenities listed in all of them. So, just beware if you try to book with him. You will not get nearly any of those amenities. 
Okay, and then these are the stairs. No, 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 don't push past me. Okay, so we've got this room. Yeah. There is a rainbow light. It's good. Pretty dusty. A little dirty, but that's okay. Once again, we're in India. We weren't expecting miracles. You know, we're not in a Western country, and that's fine. The problem that we have is one, the guy was incredibly rude. Where's all the things that are supposed to be here? What's supposed to be here on the booking listing? Hot tub, flat screen TV, a game room, park. Kids' um, channels on the TV. Um, <laughs> bathtub. Show us the bathtub and the hot tub and the game room and the park. Show us one of those, Ab. I can't. Why? There is no. Oh, they're not here. Oh, imagine that. Okay, and then... Also, there's a million mosquitoes. The most mosquitoes we have had anywhere. Can Ten I times you time. The no, not yet. Okay. We were actually supposed to have this room also. Whoa! Um, in a but the guy only put us in one room, and then when we called him out on it, he got super weird and aggressive about payment, although he had never Mom, asked us for I, payment. Can I watch that? Yep. Can yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the rat cage got set off last night. We reset it because he didn't take the veggies out and he got away. We saw the rat on the counter and up on the fridge. So, trying to catch, trying to catch. Hi, Mommy, tell them. I'm fucking no fun. It's here outside. And it's worth it. Yeah. 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 A brick holding the stairs together. The owner shows up yesterday afternoon and like, where's the payment? And so we're like, uh, well we don't have it in cash. Like, we can only take out, we can't even take out the payment in cash apparently. We didn't know. In the ATM, we would able to take us three ATM withdrawals on separate days to get enough money to pay him. So we're like, okay, we'll pay you Friday. And he's like, okay. Because he knew apparently that's the deal. Well. From that point on, the owner messaging me on WhatsApp just got progressively rude and verbally abusive. Was calling me a liar and they're so good at making up stories. You guys, you people, you people, um, you foreigners, Western foreigners want everything for free for nothing and blah, blah, blah. I was like, dude, I don't want anything for free. I just want what we booked. I'll give you what you booked when you pay in full. And I was like, okay, well, we're going to adjust our price because you're not getting paid in full till Friday. So we're not paying for an entire villa when we're all stuck up in one little room um, for that many days. Like, no, no, no. And I was like, dude, and I'm like, okay, well, in the meantime, why don't you just let me know where the TV is? And I didn't, I, I said that later, the hot tub joking, but anyways. And so I had asked for just a cup where a couple of the basic amenities that were listed were. This is a long time thing. There was a review from a guy like a year ago from Europe and the owner totally was like, oh, this guy was so rude, he should be banned, blah, blah, blah. And really, no, the guy was asking for something that legit is listed on the list. Like, it's listed on the amenities. And so, anyways, he told us he wants us to leave because we're a nightmare. He doesn't want to deal with us all week and just don't pay anything and just leave. I said, well, it's going to take us some time to find something because it's last minute and there's six of us in a very busy city. He's like, yeah, please, just hurry. And so then once I said that, then all of a sudden he starts, oh, well, you need to pay for this. You need to pay for that. You need to pay for this. You need to pay for that. And I was like, oh, I thought it was free. You just wanted us out of here. I want that. So we're just trying to get out of here. But I'm getting really nervous because I think the caretaker keeps like, calling and has like an idea that we're trying to leave. And so I'm trying not to have a scary confrontation. So hopefully the other guy that comes with a SIM card will be able to help and stay here while we get things figured out. The rat that's not here was enjoying our potatoes. I'll leave that there for him while we clear up. We found our papaya. We had originally left it on the counter and then it was put in the fridge. So that can be your parting gift, Abby. Thanks for everything. Okay, long story short, it's not my forte, but I'll try. We did end up having some drama. The caretaker followed us out to the grab. 
Uh, we had major drama even getting our new Airbnb arranged for some reason. It was super stressful for quite a few hours. Anyways, this is the view from our master bedroom in the new Airbnb. Uh, we ended up having the caretaker follow us out to the car once I was sitting down in the front seat and wouldn't let me close the door. So that was a little scary. And um, anyways, the grab driver was wondering what in the world he got into. But we finally got out of there. He had kept handing the phone to Wally and Wally kept taking it. And we're like, stop taking the phone. Roll up the window. Like it was crazy. Um, we got to this new Airbnb. Found out that there was a caretaker, which we'll get into more later. It's a very strange dynamic for us Westerners. But we were watching people and the caretaker came in and was like, oh, no, 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 no. He closed the blinds. It's the master bedroom. Closed the blinds and takes us to the other side of the house. Yeah, Look at this view over the park in the girlfriend. apartment <laughs> complex pool. That was kind of funny. <laughs> we're working hard on this dinner. <laughs> I think, do you know that? <laughs> yes. Uh, Woo. Oh, Sue working hard. <laughs> That's hard labor. Oh, this is so complicated. Indian packing. Yeah. Indian packing is serious. We're going to have our They're first Indian packing. dinner in India. They're like, you are not going to eat this shit. Green one is more The eye doctor in India. Why not? You don't go to the eye doctor in India every day, Makai. No Come, Come on. Come on, Makai. Open wide, open please. I'm going to document this because Makai and I just got done with the eye doctor. He dilated us and then we're like blind walking around. We would already be super confused trying to uh, grocery shop here at night in the dark with no SIM card and Wi-Fi. But now we're doing it with everything super blurry. And yeah. Yeah, I can't see my hand. It's right here. <laughs> so, the awesome eye doctor totally was like, wait, wait, I'll drive you to the market. And then we got here and Makai's like, so our dilemma is, and he's like, you wait, I run back, one more patient, I come back and get you. So we're just waiting for the eye doctor to come back. Like, full service eye doctor. We highly recommend him. If you're in Delhi and you need an eye doctor, contact us, we'll tell you where to go. Neo Vision First. All right, going to the mall I'm just saying in Delhi. We haven't died yet. If I go deaf, then I can't hear. So yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Everybody's nice and dramatic today. My foot totally finally healed from that uh, scooter incident, and I just recut it open, tripping on a rock. Wow. We're on an uneven pathway, I guess. Wally and Kai were sick of everybody staring at their legs because no men had shorts on, so we're at the mall to get some pants. We told the girl at the register that we were having a hard time getting a SIM card, so she told us to meet her when she got off of work at 7 and proceeded to uh, lead us down the street a bit and get some SIM cards in her own name for us. She was an angel. Oh, you missed all the good parts, huh? I know. We just crossed that. Okay, get up here with them. Papa. 
Join us next time on the Wallace Reboot as we head from Delhi to Agra, where we go explore the Red Fort, we get our first glimpse of the Taj Mahal, and the beginnings of Holi. And today, so end up, now yeah, leaving is so end up, yeah. So end up tomorrow morning time, so end up only the best. Yeah. yeah.